Hi, this is Joyce with Methodist Hill Quilt Studio. Over the last few months, club members in the new all-in-one club have received some fun and interesting border patterns. In this video clip, I thought I would show you how the July Strip Illusions feather stripe border can be changed up um, and used with different triangle patterns. The um, stripe set, the Strip Illusions feather stripe set, consists of a corner pattern and this stripe and feather. And the border piece is point to point. So I'm going to um, place the border pattern on my CAD. I have snaps on. After I've placed the pattern, and you'll see I have my grid set at six because the pattern is designed at um, about 12 by six. And I'm going to select the pattern, right click, and choose nodes or press F7. Or in um, CS7, you can click nodes view. So I'll select nodes and then I'm going to zoom in and take my crosshair, hover over this particular pink node and press D on my keyboard. Now the feather patterns have been isolated from the rest of the stripe and I can press delete on my keyboard and they're gone. Now I can select another point-to-point -point pattern. In this case, I'm showing you I'm going to use a pearl swirl point-to-point -point double triangle. I'm going to click on draw pattern or point-to-point -point pattern. And my grid snaps are on still. So I'm going to click a point up this side of that stripe triangle and down the other. Right click and then again to exit. Then I'm going to choose this first triangle that I just placed. Click on order join. And now I have created a new pattern which starts here and ends over here. I can select the whole pattern, right click, save pattern, and save this as pearl swirl stripe border. It's a border point to point. Add it to my collection. Choose tags, whatever you would like. And save and close. Now to create the coordinating um, corner pattern, what I would do is choose this triangle pearl swirl again and click on draw pattern or point to point pattern. And I'm going to click diagonally from an inside corner and back out. The reason that I chose the inside corner first is because then it will stitch this side, he, um, it will stitch this side first, come back on this side so that um, it, when you use border corner to set this up, then it will um, all um, connect properly using border corner. So now I can select this particular pattern, right click and save pattern and call this my pearl swirl. Um, I think I'll call it a, a stripe corner so that if I'm looking for it, I'll find it and add it to my collection, save and close. Now I have um, a new border and corner um, that will work with the border corner. Um, and it was that simple. Hope this little tip gives you ideas um, on how you can take one pattern and then um, it, by changing it up, um, it, it will work for a lot of different quilts. Thanks a lot.